Okay, what's the whole thing on the slide? A. Oh, wait, I like it. Whole thing of the Thrillbliss. Um, one of. Where did it go? These. Okay, we'll look at that. So, going back. Um, what's the name of these cells if they're haploid? They're haploid. No, no. kind of spores. Oh, um. Microspores. Okay. Um, and then what's the name of the whole structure? Microsporangium. Microsporangium, and what's the pointy thing? Microsporophyll. Microsporophyll. And then coming over here, what's this pointy thing? Macrospore. Oh, no, no, no. Mac has got it. Mac has Can you put macro? No, we're not going to put macro. If you put macro, I would. Uh, and then this, this whole bigger structure is a megasporangium, megasporangium and then a megaspore. megaspore, and then what's the structure down the middle? That's the stem, right? The stem. So Strobilis is a stem with leaves attached to it, but it's leaves specializing in forming spores. And so this is your comparison of the homospory versus the heterospory. Um, what we just got to looking at on the left, and then what about if it was the single type of spore? All the sporangia look the same, so far as one type of spore. Phylum Spinophyta, Strobilis. Every node has microfilms of it. And then that's all we looked at in this. The rest was lecture. Okay, here's ferns, root stems, and leaves, but um, what is the name given for these leaves? Considering that they're large and also they have multiple branches of vascular tissue. Um, Not a microfill. A megafill. Correct. And then what's the name of these structures? We forgot the structures that form on the underside of the leaves. Spores. Well, it's more than a sporangia. It's sorry. And then you should know what this is from this whole structure here. Uh, whole thing. Oh. Whole thing. Yeah. Phallus of the gametophyte. And then what would these little filamentous things be? Rhizoids. And then what's the circular thing? This, this, is, this remains of the spore, because that's the spore wall. So you can see the spore that we had on these plates five weeks ago. That's what it started with. And then grew the gametophyte. And from the gametophyte went through the sporophyte, which is what you're counting today. Then the archegonia usually grow around the notch. All of these are in theridium. So this shows a hermaphroditic uh, fern that has both genders on there. And when you realize, or hope you realize this, that the archegonia produce eggs that produce zygotes, that's why the sporophyte should always grow in this area. It's not going to grow from down here because that's where the sperm is. Then this is what was on demonstration to show us take a longitudinal section through a thallus. So I mean, take this and let's cut right through here. What do the antheridia look like? Well, there they are. Now, you might say, well, that looks like sporangian spores. How would you know the difference? Well, if all I showed you was this, I probably couldn't tell the difference either. So that's why I start bigger and say, okay, here's the structure. Let's take a section through it. What do we see? Um, you should know that this is not a spore by can't produce spores. It's going to produce gametes, so it has to be um, the antheridia. Okay. Then, if you took a longitudinal section through the part where the notch was, notice it's thicker. The thallus is thicker. And then let's enlarge the these. And this whole structure here would be, what is this whole structure? Well, if it's not an antheridia, what is it? It's the other one. It's the other one. <laughs> Archegonia. Archegonia. Yeah, Archegonia. This whole thing is a thallus. And then here it is, bigger than life. Um, this would be Archegonia, and this is the egg. So the black egg and the chicken. Both Archegonia have eggs. Both Archegonia have eggs in it, correct. What's the red stuff? The red Five. stuff would be nuclei. Okay. Sorry. So the nuclei of the cells. Okay. And then <laughs> this is should be, this is should be reminiscent of what you were looking at today. Here's the gametophyte thallus. Here's the rhizoids of the gametophyte. Then what is the structure of the arrow? Mm -hmm. That's the sporophyte root. And here's the petiole of the sporophyte leaf. And here's the blade of the leaf. 
Also, do you notice how much darker this is than this? You see it? This is the this is darker thing. than the green. Yeah. This, do you know why? Oh, the DNA is more It important. has twice as much yeah. DNA. Nice. So the nuclei are showing up uh, um, darker. So when you have them side by side, you can you can tell under the microscope the nuclei should be bigger. And if they're dyes put on to make them stain, they're going to be more intense because it's twice as much chromosome, twice as much DNA. So here you're seeing the whole the whole plant: gametophyte, sporophyte, root, stem, leaf. Basically, stem would be right up here. And here's the gametophyte with its own rhizomes. Okay, then from the sporophyte, it grows into the big sporophyte plant, gametophyte dies. And now you're back to the sori. Take, make a longitudinal section through us. And then what is this structure here, all of this? Okay, I'm taking the section through here. Yeah, so this is the, of the leaf. So here's the leaf, and here's upper epidermis and lower, here's vascular tissue. So this is all leaf tissue. So what does that mean all of this is? Is that uh, the source? And then one of these structures here? Sporangia. Yeah, so so sporangia, uh, source is just a collection of sporangia on the leaf. And then here's one sporangium, and if these are haploid, they have to be diploid. Uh, I said they're haploid, they're spores, but if they're diploid, they are spore mother cells. Uh -huh. Spore mother cells and sporangia. The questions can stay the same, and the answers stay the same in this case. Okay, no matter whether it's a lip or a moss or a fern. Same last time. Then you get the full-fledged plant, and this is the rhizomes we talked about. Big or small, take and cut a section through the rhizome. Then you have this, this indicated, yeah, it's vascular tissue. Notice the steel is different. We didn't name maybe this recently, but this is a siphonal steel variation of it. But I didn't ask you to know that. I just asked you to know it's vascular tissue. Can you say steel or steel? Or vascular tissue? Both work. In this case, it's either one. Vascular tissue is steel. And then this is just an enlargement that shows, you should be able to recognize this item. Is it fully developed? It looks pretty developed. And then flow on this can be up here. Flow is not as well. Now flow is one place. That's the slides. That's it? Yep. Well, that should go. We should mesh very nicely what we just finished up in lecture. So you've got all these visuals. And if you come tomorrow, we can go over any of these again. And also the slides, microscopic slides. These are audio and ETL, all the way to bacteria. We should totally come with all the pictures, just like print it and have you like name them and then write it and then memorize it. How about if you learn some of it too? No, I learned it right now. No, no, no. Okay, memorize the one and I see what you did. Yeah, I see. You can't memorize it without learning. They can't do that. Well, some people do. It never worked for me very well. Yeah, it doesn't work for me. Stop it. Oh, what are you doing?